A public inquiry has begun into the contaminated blood scandal in which 2,500 NHS patients died. Thousands of people were given blood products infected with hepatitis viruses and HIV in the 1970s and 80s. It's been called the worst treatment disaster in the history of the NHS. Daniela Ralph reports. They came for answers. The families and victims on whom the contaminated blood scandal has had a devastating impact. The public inquiry at Church House in central London is where they hope to find an explanation. For Elizabeth McRae, this has been a long time coming. Her father, Peter, was a haemophiliac. After receiving contaminated blood, he died from AIDS in 1991. Elizabeth was 12 and her sister Kirsty was 9. I'm here because it's a very important moment. There's a, a, a large number of us, uh, especially those of us who've lost our fathers, who find it hard to move past without knowing a real explanation of why. So we all want answers. You've got the words. As the inquiry opened, a video was played made by the families and the campaign team. It included the voices of those who were so changed after they or their loved ones were given contaminated blood. When they told me what they'd, they'd done to me, I stood at a motorway bridge to jump off it. Um, and basically, that's been my life ever since. I feel we've been treated very badly. Um, nobody's listened to us over the years. It's like knocking on a door and, and it um, never opening. I feel we've been treated so unfairly by successive governments who've failed to to live up to their responsibility of what they've done to us, of what they've done to my family and what they've done to my life. For decades, campaigners said there had been a cover-up, that officials had hidden the truth of how thousands of NHS patients were given blood products infected with hepatitis or HIV during the 70s and 80s. The inquiry just has to be strong and robust and willing to use those powers and to unearth every to turn over every stone and and to go into those cupboards that have been closed for years and search out the truth and the truth is what the families hope these hearings will deliver they feel they have suffered enough the inquiry could last more than two years daniela ralph bbc news